Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is Poverty. Question number 1. Who was the first person to discuss the concept of poverty line in India? Option A. Shaheen Rafi Khan. Option B. Dada Bhai Naroji. Option C. Damien Killen. Option D. Amartya Sen. The correct answer is Option B. Dada Bhai Naroji. One of the earliest estimations of poverty was done by Dada Bhai Naroji in his book, Poverty and the UN British Rule in India. He formulated a poverty line ranging from 16 rupees to 35 rupees per capita per year, based on 1867 68 prices. Question number 2. Task Force on Projections of Minimum Needs and Effective Consumption Demand was formed in Option A. 1979 Option B. 1989 Option C. 2005 Option D. 1990 The correct answer is Option A. 1979 the Planning Commission in July 1979 constituted the Task Force on Projections of Minimum Needs and Effective Consumption Demand, under the chairmanship of Dr. Y.K. Alag. The task force provided a quantitative measure of poverty. Question number 3. Small farmers or seasonal workers who regularly move in and out of poverty, fall in the category of Option A. Chronic Poor Option B. Never poor. Option C. Churning poor. Option D. Usually poor. The correct answer is. Option C. Churning poor. There are many ways to categorize poverty. In one such way people who are always poor and those who are usually poor but who may sometimes have a little more money are grouped together as the chronic poor. The occasionally poor are rich most of the time but may sometimes have a patch of bad luck. Churning poor regularly move in and out of poverty like, small farmers and seasonal workers. Question number 4. The calorie requirement for measuring poverty lino is higher in rural areas than urban areas because in rural area. Option A. People do not enjoy as much as people in urban areas. Option B. Food items in are expensive. Option C. People are engaged in mental work. Option D. People are engaged in physical labor. The correct answer is Option D. People are engaged in physical labor. The calorie requirement of the people in rural areas is higher than that of the people living in urban areas because they do more physical work as compared to urban people. Question number 5. In 1999 to 2000, the poverty line was defined for urban areas as consumption worth. Option A. 454 rupees per person a month. Option B. 328 rupees per person a month. Option C. 545 rupees per person a month. Option D. 238 rupees per person a month. The correct answer is Option A. 454 rupees per person a month. From 1999 to 2000 onwards. The NSSO switched to an MRP method which measures consumption of five low-frequency items, clothing, footwear, durables, education and institutional health expenditure, over the previous year, and all other items over the previous 30 days. That is to say, for the five items, survey respondents are asked about consumption in the previous one year. For the remaining items, they are asked about consumption in the previous 30 days. Question number 6. Poverty index developed by Nobel laureate Amartya Sen was named as Option A. Poverty gap index. Option B. Sen's index. Option C. Squared poverty gap. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is Option B. Sen's index. Amartya Sen, Indian economist who was awarded the 1998 Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences for his contributions to welfare economics and social choice theory and for his interest in the problems of society's poorest members. Question number 7. 
which of the following state reduced its people below the poverty line to 17 percent during 1973 to 2010? Option A. Bihar. Option B. West Bengal. Option C. Uttar Pradesh. Option D. Tamil Nadu. The correct answer is Option D. Tamil Nadu. Question number 8. Which of the following is not a major cause of poverty in India? Option A. Low capital formation. Option B. Lack of social or welfare nets. Option C. Social exclusion. Option D. Migration of people from rural to urban India. The correct answer is Option D. Migration of people from rural to urban India. Lack of positive political inclination is not a cause of poverty. The government has been running targeted anti poverty campaigns and has taken measures to uplift economic growth. Others are causes such as economic development suffered during the British administration. They discouraged traditional industries, handicrafts, and promoted their products in the market. Further, when people migrated from rural to cities, they were unable to find jobs and started working at small irregular incomes as vendors, rickshaw pullers. This created urban poverty. Also uneven distribution of land and resources has resulted in poverty. Question number 9. The scheme was introduced on 15th of August, 1995 as 100% centrally sponsored for social assistance for the poor to ensure minimum national standard for social assistance. Option A. Jayahar Gram Samriddhi Yojana, JGSY. Option B. Swarn Jayanti Shehri Rozgar Yojana, SJSRY. Option C. Employment Assurance Scheme, EAS. Option D. National Social Assistance Program, NSAP. The correct answer is. Option D. National Social Assistance Program, NSAP. The National Social Assistance Program NSAP which came into effect from 15 August, 1995 represents a significant step towards the fulfillment of the directive principles in Article 41 of the Constitution. The program introduced a national policy for social assistance for the poor and aims at ensuring minimum national standard for social assistance in addition to the benefits that states are currently providing or might provide in future. Question number 10. Which of the following is program for the benefit of the elderly? Option A. Public distribution system. Option B. Pradhan Mantri Gram Safak Yojana. Option C. Social assistance program. Option D. National food for work program. The correct answer is. Option C. Social assistance program. National Social Assistance Program is a social security and welfare program to provide support to aged persons, widows, disabled persons and bereaved families on death of primary breadwinner, belonging to below poverty line households. Question number 11. Which program is restructured as National Rural Livelihood Mission? Option A. National Food for Work Program. Option B. Savarna Jayanti Gram Swarozgar Yojana. Option C. Rural Employment Generation Program. Option D. Prime Minister's Rozgar Yojana. The correct answer is. Option B. Savarna Jayanti Gram Swarozgar Yojana. Swarna Jayanti Gramin Swarozgar Yojana. SGSY. One of the flagship programs of the Road Ministry with a focus on self employment by reaching out to self help groups. Launched in the year 1999 is being restructured as the National Rural Livelihoods Mission, NRLM, to be implemented in a mission mode across the country. Question number 12. Reasons for chronic indebtedness among the poor. Option A. Poor work mainly as land as agricultural laborers. Option B. Poor borrow money from lenders who charge high rates of interest. Option C. The poor are highly vulnerable. They are not able to negotiate their legal wages from employers and are exploited. Option D. Poor are landless. Even if some them possess land, it is only dry or waste land. The correct answer is. Option B. 
poor borrow money from lenders who charge high rates of interest. The money lenders are also largely responsible for the huge burden of rural debt. They not only charge excessive interest but maintain false accounts. When the amount of debt gets accumulated over a number of years the farmer finds it difficult to repay it and is forced to surrender his land to the money lender. This is the plight of the rural masses in India even today. Question number 13. How economics identify the poor? Option A. On the basis of their wealth. Option B. On the basis of their annual income. Option C. On the, the basis of their occupation and ownership of assets. Option D. On the basis of their savings. The correct answer is. Option C. On the, the basis of their occupation and ownership of assets. Question number 14. Why poor have very limited economic opportunities? Option A. As they live in rural area. Option B. Scarcity of funds. Option C. Lack of basic literacy and skills. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option D. All of these. Question number 15. The official data on poverty is made available to the public by the Option A. NSSO. Option B. Planning Commission. Option C. Government of India. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option B. Planning Commission. The official data on poverty is made available to the public by the Planning Commission. It is estimated on the basis of consumption expenditure data collected by the National Sample Survey Organization, NSSO. Question number 16. The government's approach to poverty reduction was of underscore dimensional. Option A. 1. Option B. 2. Option C. 3. Option D. 4. The correct answer is. Option C. 3. The government's approach to poverty reduction was of three dimensions. The first one is growth-oriented approach. The second approach aimed at creation of incremental assets and by means of work generation. The third approach to addressing poverty is to provide minimum basic amenities to the people. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.